baseball fans, and supporters of first responders filled the Dr. Pepper ballpark in Frisco, Texas on a hot June evening. All were there to show first responders from all parts of North Texas how much they cared for and supported the men and women on the front line of protection, service, and community. The evening of baseball and fireworks was the idea of Tony Pickens, director of Operation Blue Shield, who recognized a nationwide need for direct contact with local community first responders. Our goal is to bring at OBS the, the meaning of the blue and yellow. It is unity. And through unity, we rebuild bridges of trust. We can, we can grasp progressive change and move forward with that the right way. And unity can help our country come together. Support for Operation Blue Shield has become a reality for local municipalities in North Texas, and area mayors are lining up in support. First time I met Tony was at an awards banquet a few years ago, and she spoke, and it touched Rebecca and my heart. I mean, how could how could it not? The passion she has, uh, it's overflowing, and and so she could be doing a lot of things. She doesn't have to be here. She could be doing a lot of things. So how could you not get into her passion and that drive and want to do it? Because I love the blue too. Here in Frisco, we truly are all in um, as a city, supporting our first responders. And we know that it's important for us to do that, that they know that we have their back. But on top of that, it's about the community awareness too. Here in Frisco, we've been doing it for nearly a decade, having a community awareness night where we know that um, if our residents have eyes and ears on the street, they're an extension of our law enforcement. So all of us working together, that's how we try to keep our community safe and our first responders safe. Besides enjoying baseball, contests on the field, and recognition for our first responders, fans were treated to a free donut card donated by the North Texas Dunkin' Donut Group. As a corporate sponsor, Gary Marstallo believes other companies and corporations should extend their own community outreach in support of Operation Blue Shield. There's a lot of great things that we can do as an organization and that when you partner with organizations you want to look for somebody that's going to have a wide reach in the community and Operation Blue Shield definitely has that. They've got the credibility, they've got a plan and they really want to get organizations and corporations involved to support uh, the police, first responders and those things. So it's a really an easy thing to do. The biggest challenge Operation Blue Shield faces is generating support. And Director Pickens says when communities are partnered with first responders, Operation Blue Shield will make a difference. The need is as great in the city that I live in as it is across the nation. So you, you look at Chicago, you look at Washington, you look at L.A., you look at St. Louis, you look at Milwaukee, every city that I have gone to, we are experiencing the same needs. So if you're a corporate sponsor out there, if you're a high net worth individual, if you're just someone who said, I care about this country, send your money to us because we are going to put that back into the community for all the right reasons. Letting first responders know their dedication and sacrifice is critical to local communities is what keeps these heroic men and women on the job. Dallas Police Department Sergeant Willie Ford explains how Operation Blue Shield makes a difference to these first responders. The community needs to see us, talk to us, and understand that we're there to help them. Uh, we're not there to, to look up or look down on them. We're there to help them because we're part of a team. And that's what Operation Blue Shield does in the community. And I think from that standpoint, if you just get to know us, and I say us because I'm part of Operation Blue Shield, I think you have a different perspective of what goes on from a law enforcement standpoint. And you know, look past the uniform and look at the people that are in there because it's not just officers, it's community leaders, it is uh, businesses, corporations, uh, individuals that are all part of Operation Blue Shield. On a larger scale, entire departments and communities are beginning to realize how Operation Blue Shield will make a difference on a day-to-day -day basis. Traditionally in, in policing, you know, we focused on the enforcement piece, and, and that's very important, certainly, but it's really more about community policing, partnering with our stakeholders in our business community, our faith-based community, our school districts, at every opportunity working together with our community because we, we share the same goals. We all want to live in a safe environment with a high quality of life. And so when we're working collectively and collaboratively, we, we achieve much better results. And, you know, Operation Blue Shield has really been a leader in bringing that cohesion uh, and togetherness about. By the end of the evening, fans and first responders were treated to donuts, baseball, and a fireworks show that filled the sky over Dr. Pepper Ballpark. Behind the scenes, 
corporate sponsors and Operation Blue Shield were preparing to get the word out across the country that community and first responders working hand in hand can make a difference in making American hometowns safe, secure, and a desirable place to live, work, and raise a family. For more information about Operation Blue Shield and how your company can make a difference in your hometown, go to OperationBlueShield.com or call 214-234-0248.